I'm Michelle Lopez. I'm an artist working in New York City. I came to study here in 1988 at Barnard College from Alexandria, Virginia. My parents are from the Philippines. I deal primarily with sculpture and installation. I make most of my work with my hands. I care about craftsmanship. I had a pivotal moment as I stood downtown and watched the Twin Towers come down during 9-11. Everything changed for me as an artist. In 2010, I did a show at Simon Preston in New York. I translated my own 9-11 experience into my work by making these folded, crushed aluminum pieces called Blue Angels. They were 10 feet tall with broad bands of primary commercial airline colors. I was thinking about minimalism, but also collapsed airplane wings. To make these pieces, I wrestle with the sheet on the ground until they are wilted, but at a moment of simultaneously dying and awaking. I like the fact that I'm a woman making large matcha sculpture. You could say I have a little woman's complex, but the size allows me to take risk. In December of this year, I'm executing a 40-foot version of Blue Angel at the Bass Museum of Art in Miami for the art public sector of Miami Basel. I'm struck by the fact that Michelle's work engages a certain tradition of minimalism, uh, but it also brings to it a very personal perspective. And I think her work expresses uh, both a kind of formal elegance, but there's a violence to it as well. Uh, but that violence where she's manipulating and, and pulling and pushing the material itself ultimately leads to a very poetic, very beautiful play of, of the sort of the machine made and the hand touched. I'm literally following the process of making an airplane with industrial sheets joined together by rivets. It will be the size of an airplane wing, if not larger, four times the size of my original sculpture. It will be installed on the front facade of the museum to appear as if it's crashed onto the site. I'm always excited to see an artist really engage with the public realm. It's one of the less commercial aspects of the art world. It's a tougher thing to pull off. The scale is ambitious, but the potential reach, the audience, the accessibility is so much stronger than a work that lives its whole life in a gallery. And I think to enable artists to realize a vision that's all about communicating with the public is a super exciting thing. This project is important because it executes the original tenant of my idea, the impact of a violent attack onto our collective landscape, being situated outdoors and its enormous scale. I think it will have a stunning impact as you stand there. I think as a woman myself, I'm very attracted to the way that female artists of today relate to um, minimalist sculpture and the legacy of what to me is a particularly male um, kind of aesthetic, not only in the vocabulary but also in the scale. Brent Howard has fabricated and installed a lot of important public monuments. He's an artist who specializes in metal. He's a part of the team for this project, and I'm excited he's on board. This project is a group effort. Time is of essence as the show opens December 3rd. As you watch this video, we are working hard on the project. We can't do this alone, and would love for you to participate. Join us to erect this public sculpture that serves as a memorial and a larger than life figure of all our collective experiences your donation will go 100% towards the cost of production. If you donate a minimum of $10, you will symbolically be putting one rivet into the assembly of this project, and you'll receive a button that says you are a part of this piece. I hope you participate in something I feel very strongly about. Help me raise Blue Angel 
one rivet at a time.